Howdy, Tinker Nerds. You know, I'm not quite digging this style. Let's try something else. Nope. Hmm. This style is much better. All right, this is the common show for how to make an Android app in seven minutes. Let's see what you guys had to say. I used to spend my Sunday mornings with breakfast, a cup of coffee, and the new Tinkernut video on my big TV. Now I don't know what I'll do on Sundays. For no reason, this comment will be rudely interrupted. I have nothing to comment. I apologize that the change in release schedule really bothers some of you guys. I decided to start releasing the videos on Friday, honestly, so that I could have my weekends back. Hashtag free the weekend. I've already done an entire video about why I'm making these changes, so I'm not gonna reiterate that. But I did want to let you know that there are just a couple more changes that I need to make to the channel to stabilize it. But other than that, there should be no more big changes. From your point of view, everything should be static and consistent. And if it's not, please call me out and let me know. Tell me to stop it. Say it just like that. Stop it, Daniel, stop it. If you want more information on those changes that I'm going to be making, then stay tuned to the end of this video for that. Is it possible to export the source code? There's no way to do this from within App Inventor, but there is a dirty hack that you can use to get around this. First, you want to download the .apk file for your program and then change the extension to .zip. That way you can extract it and see what files are within it. Within that, you should see a res folder that contains a bunch of XML files that can be loaded into your Eclipse Android project. I wanted to give a special shout out to Tech Reviews and Help and his YouTube channel. He actually had a lot of really helpful and useful comments this time around. So check out his channel if you want. Is it possible to get rid of about invented with app inventor screen and to get rid of the top gray thingy that has first app on it? Yes, it's all in the settings panel for the screen one component. This top option lets you set the about text and then this option lets you turn off the gray bar. This is crap. You can only make a right app with real programming. So I can understand how this video might have frustrated some of you that already know how to program. But as I tried to stress at the beginning of the video, this is only for beginners. It's intended to teach basic programming concepts without actually having to learn a programming language. App Inventor was initially developed by Google for that specific reason, to allow people to create apps without having to program them. It was then released in 2011 as open source, where it was picked up by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology that has given us amazing things like spreadsheets, e-ink, and the World Wide Web. The block interface has proven to be such an effective tool that it spawned other applications like Scratch for creating games or Alice for creating 3D animations. And since it's open source, you can download the code to view it or download it to create your own app maker, just like Thunkable, Appy Builder, or Mad Robot. Can I earn money with MIT App Inventor with AdSense or some advertising tool? You'd have to include some type of affiliate ad such as Mob Partner, and I've included a link in the description to a tutorial that'll walk you through how to do that. What are some easy programming languages to begin learning? Now this is strictly my opinion, but it honestly depends on what it is that you're wanting to program. For instance, Python is easy if you're wanting to create desktop applications. JavaScript is good if you're wanting to create web applications. And Java is good if you're wanting to create applications. So in my opinion, those are the easiest to get started with, although they may not be the best programming languages overall. Alternatively, you may want to check out Auto IT for Windows applications or Cordova for mobile applications if you want something even easier. So, now that I'm over my creative slash style crisis, here are the final things that I need to do to stabilize the channel. So the first one's pretty simple. I'm gonna be making a welcome video for people that are not subscribed to the channel, and I'll be posting that. Secondly, I'm gonna be keeping my promise of doing a lot more do-it-yourself instructional videos. The only issue is that I created the 3D animation style for explanatory videos and it works well for explaining stuff, not so much for the instructional videos. So because of that, I'm gonna be reverting back to a style even before the 3D animations, which was just kind of the overhead shot style. That works great for the instructional videos. 
So from your end, all you need to know is that there's gonna be no change in the introduction, no change in the content, no change in the release timeline. Just a slight change in how it's formatted because that's what works best for the do-it-yourself projects. All right guys, thank you all very much for all the comments and I will see you guys next week.